Wednesday afternoon, and it's 3.30, so I think that probably means just one thing. It must be time for Forever Friends. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've got Mike here, so that I must be on the right track. There you go. You got it right on the head. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing good, man. I'm hanging in there, you know, um, yeah. just uh, going through life. Um, you know, we, we're really doing good at the shelter. Um, still got the greatest staff in the world. Uh, still got great support to, from Focus and the community. Um, just trying to make a difference. Absolutely. So I think that's all any of us can do, yeah. especially in the COVID era, you know. <laughs> um, no matter how good you think you got it, all of a sudden it can jump up and everything changes on you in a minute. So. Absolutely. So, but we're here to talk about the cute and the fluffy. Of course. Today I'm going to let you bring the cute. I'm going to bring the fluffy. What do you think? That's a change, oh, typically. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let, yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Our dog for this week is Honey. Honey is a six-year-old brown and black hound mix that weighs 54 pounds. She loves people, playtime outside in the yard. She does fine with other dogs, but would prefer them to be calm and laid back like she is. Honey's been at the shelter since January. Oh, my. So, our cat for this week is DJ. DJ is a four-month-old neutered male kitten that is brown with black tiger stripes. He loves to talk to you and gets lots of your attention. DJ really likes us to snuggle and will cuddle up and hide in his blankets. He's been at the shelter waiting to meet his new family since mid-March. Cuddles and and blankets. That sounds like the perfect combination. There you go, especially (laughs) on the cold winter days. You know, well, I guess we're coming up on the warm days, but then um, he's fun for that that too. Absolutely. Uh, We are actually going to partner with the Litchfield Animal Shelter, and we are going to have a rabies clinic May 14th, 2022, at 10 a, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, at the Grayson County Fairgrounds Pavilion. That's 1414 Brandenburg Road, Litchfield, Kentucky, 42754. Uh, of course, that is Litchfield time. I believe they're behind us. I think so, yeah. An hour, I think so? Yeah. But uh, we're partnering with them. Uh, it's going to be a Saturday. should be a good day. So please tell everybody to be on the lookout for it. Uh, it's on our web page. It is on uh, Litchfield Animal Shelter's page. Um, we're just uh, trying to do some more community service, uh, trying to help out the counties around us. Um, we're hoping to have a good turnout, so please tell your friends. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I, I've said this before, Mike. I think it's cool that um, you're working with other counties to to do good things like that. I mean, that's that's fantastic. Well, we, you know, COVID changed everything. A lot of people... Our veterinarians did the best that they could, but a lot of animals couldn't get in to get their rabies shots, and and I get that. And um, now the vets are back up and running, but they're overloaded. I mean, sure. we have some of the best vets in the state, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, um, and they're booked, and they're doing their jobs, and they're trying to get to everybody. But I mean, it's just like us; you cannot get to everybody as fast as you want to. Right. So we're hoping this will make a difference. Um, you know, we welcome anybody from anywhere, but, of course, it's mainly for the people in Grayson County. Yeah. And, of course, you know, we need to talk about those numbers because <laughs> I know those numbers are important to you. Well, we got we to uh, fix last week's mistake. <laughs> I, I might do it backwards again because it went – evidently, whatever I did worked to my advantage this week. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to do it right. We have talked about 392 animals. Okay. We have adopted out 391 animals. Okay. So, so there you go. Wait, what, what percentage is that? It's like 99.98. <laughs> you can do the math. I'll keep taking care of the animals. I'm not I'm not the math guy. But, Sounds good. But um, that's those are good numbers to have. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Like I said, you know, we, we've uh, we talked about – a kind of the the goal of of saving lives, and when you when you say three hundred ninety one, that's three hundred ninety one cats and dogs that have been saved. That's right, fantastic. <laughs> All right, so how can people contact you? You can give us a call two seven zero seven six nine three four two eight. Of course, stop by and see us at two twenty Peterson Drive. You can look us up at Hardin County Animal Shelter KY on Facebook. You can go to the county website hcky.org. And on that website, you can uh, fill out an online application. You can make a donation to the shelter to help care for the animals, or you can license your dog online now. Yeah. Uh, also, our adoptable pets can be viewed on PetFinder.com. Perfect, Mike. <laughs> a lot of information in a short time. Absolutely. But, no, it's all, it's all good. It's all good information. Yes, I, I hope that the people appreciate um, 391 with 
the the purpose of finding cats and dogs new homes since 2017. That's right. It's been good stuff. And I hopefully we'll keep it rolling. Oh yeah. All right, so this is Forever Friends on Quixie 98.3. It's brought to you by our friends Pet Supplies Plus on Town Drive in Elizabethtown.